What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaia. It's been about a month since finale number one, which was the end of Sachi's story. That was a touching story. It touched my non-existent heart. It was very emotional. It was an overall fantastic story. So it's time to choose another. We're not going to have to go through the pain of doing the common route again, but we are going to have to choose whether we want to do uh, Machina, which is this save here, Amine, which is this save here, and then Michiru and Sakaki we haven't gotten to. I think Michiru comes up next in terms of like order, and if we reject her, whatever she wants us to do, <clears throat> that means we go straight into Sakaki whether we like it or not, because... She's the last one. I mean, we can't reject her. I mean, that's... There's nothing else to go to. There's there's no lonely path. If there was, I probably would have gone for that first. So, I should stay. I should say this first. This might be the last route I go down. I'm, I'm only going to go down two total, I think. Maybe I'll do a third if I really feel like it. Because the thing is, is that this is a really long game. And I really don't want to spam those who are subscribed to me and don't watch this playthrough with, you know, episode 473, we're fucking another girl. Like, I don't want to do that. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm just, <coughs> sorry, I'm, I'm coughing a lot, getting over uh, being sick, even so that was like a month ago. Um, we'll just, we'll just choose one more, one more route, maybe two, I don't know, and that'll be it. And if you want to experience the other routes for yourself, you could either buy the game and go at your own pace, or check out other YouTube videos. I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna, you know, do everything. I'm, I'm not gonna 100% this. I'm sorry, but I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that's the best way to go about this. But we'll see what happens overall. But either way, we've got four choices now. And now that I'm recording, I gotta make one. I have limited. I have limited it. Uh, I have narrowed it down to two choices. Makina, so I'd be a dad, or Michiru. I know, right? Like, Michiru, what the fuck? I'm always, like, I'm always calling her a bitch and annoying. Same thing with Makina, but I mean, not as much as Michiru. <clears throat> but I don't... <coughs> Jesus. I don't really remember much about um, Michiru's story from the anime, so I kind of want to, like, go through that again. But... The same could also be said for Machina, and that seems to be, like, a fan favorite, I think. So, uh, let's see. Uh, do I have a coin? Uh, yes, I do. So, I got a coin. You could hear it. So, uh, here. Uh, heads will be... Ma fuck. Shit. This is already going terrible. I lost... Okay. So, heads will be Machina, and tails will be... Uh, Michiru. And I'm sorry, there's no way to show that I'm cheating or not, but I mean, it's really whatever. I don't care what route we go down, so. Let's see. That is heads! Alright. We will be going down Machina's. I think I said Machina's. Machina was heads. Michiru was tails. Right? Okay, whatever. Anyways, let's, get, let's jump right into it. This has been a four minute intro. So we'll do Machina. Hope you guys are ready for this. We're... So basically, <clears throat> what we got to do, if if you're if you're new to this uh, visual novel shit, but you've been keeping up, forget the last fifty five or so episodes. The, like our relationship with Sachi is gone. That didn't happen. If anything, just think that we've helped Sachi, and that's it. All right, that's how the anime did it. So we're going to accept the money. I think. I think she's paying us to be uh, Papa. So. Now we're going to be going with Machina. This is going to be really weird. I don't know why people want me to go with the lolly right off the bat, but whatever. And before I click accept the money, if you guys are, you know, excited for this to, you know, come back and everything, the mass uploading that is this playthrough, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's jump into it, guys. I'm happy to be back. Accept the money. Also, I think on the screen I will put uh, the episodes of which this correlates to, like the, the, the beginning of the dialogue behind all of this. I will put the episodes on the screen, 
or links or whatever so you guys can kind of like if you if you're not following along as well as those grisaya those grisaya fans are then uh you know I'll, I'll just put them up so you guys can have a little bit easier of understanding because i don't even remember what the context was very well here like i don't exactly remember piece by piece how we got to this point but whatever so <clears throat> if you want to obtain something be prepared to lose something in exchange that's the way the world works Makina wants to use her money to buy me might as well let her it's not like my life has that much value to me in the first place that's also something else that's going to be really difficult to do we're going to have to pretty much like if putting ourselves in the shoes of Yuji, the protagonist, we're going to have to completely for, like, uh, erase every lesson that he has learned himself. Everything we've been through is gone, which is really weird. I glance at the crumpled bills clutched in Makina's hand. 86,000 yen. Can someone uh, convert that? Unless someone already did it in the episode, if that was brought up, the actual amount. Seems like a bit too much of a bargain any way you slice it. Hmm. Sorry, Machina. But I'm pretty damn expensive. This isn't even close to enough. Give it up. Wait, didn't I accept it? Or did I reject it? What? I'm sure, I'm sure I did the right thing. Makina reaches back into her pocket and takes out a lumpy, hairy purse, roughly resembling a mutant frog. <laughs> Makina's purse is packed full of tin foil from sticks of gum and half-eaten bits of chocolate. Among the crumpled bills and dirty loose change, there's also a single credit card she carelessly tossed inside. Just how many cards do you have? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of nice to, you know, be back to reading this. Instead of that Sakura bullshit that I've been reading in the meantime, that was... Ugh, terrible. Sakura, uh, Shrine Girls and Sakura Maid. Like, it's so bad. Plus, having voice actresses and all that. Voice actors, I guess, is the right term. Uh, it's just so much better. It's easier on my voice, so I don't have to talk as much. I don't know, it's just... It's better. This is better. Hey, hold on. This thing is... The credit card Machina casually hands to me is jet black. It's not made of plastic either. Seems to be some sort of lightweight metal. Maybe titanium alloy? The name of a huge overseas credit company is etched deeply into the surface of the card, probably by laser. Is this one of those exclusive black cards I've heard about? I haven't heard shit about them. If I remember correctly, this isn't something just any rich person can get their hands on. It's proof you have a major account in an institution registered with the Swiss Bankers Association. Or something comparable. Hold on, Machina. Why do you have this card? <laughs> what? Machina shouts wildly in triumph. She's got something like a checkbook grasped firmly in her hands. On closer inspection, I spot the name of a foreign bank on the cover. What the fuck? Listen, slow down for a second. See, one of the reasons why I said Machina was annoying was because uh, of just, I don't know, like, I guess you can get past the uh, annoying way she speaks and how that's translated into this bullshit, but I guess if you do that, it's cute, but if you're like me, it's not, and it's just really bad. Counting off zeros in an off-pitch, sing-songy rhythm, Makina scratches down a number onto a check. <coughs> Dude, we're gonna get fucking rich. I won't ask questions. With a carefree smile, Makina thrusts out the slip of paper toward me. For a moment, I'm completely stunned. It's a check for 70 million yen- Okay, hold on. 
Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on, we gotta do this right. Uh, fuck. Okay, Google. What is 70 million yen in US dollars? Holy fuck, dude. Holy shit, that is a lot of money. So if you guys didn't hear that, that's $673,000. That's a lot. Holy shit. I just, I just had to check. I had to, I had to do something there. That is a lot of money. Are you serious? As I run my eyes over the check again and again, I feel a sticky, unpleasant sweat begin to seep out of the back of my head. This is absurd. You could build a hell of a nice house for yourself with this kid's pocket money. Even if I exercise my option and keep working my current job right until the retirement age, I don't know if I'll ever save up this much. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I'll be more than your dad. I'd be your mom, dude. <laughs> I'm down. Holy shit. Wait, wait. This is way too much money. I mean, is this thing even real? I don't remember even taking the check from Machina, but it's in my hand. I hold it up to the light of the sun and peer through it. There's a typical watermark inside the paper. The check itself looks like it was issued by a genuine financial institution. <coughs> Why do you have this sort of money? Allowance for life? That's not like a college fund or, or something like that. That's pretty much just a mom giving her daughter a bunch of money and saying, Well, bye. Look, you can't just give that to me. I see. Hold on a second here. Why am I starting to go along with this? Well, I mean, I do get the feeling that leaving Machina to manage this money herself won't necessarily end well. But why exactly do I have to take care of her finances? Ah, right. I guess that's the natural thing for a father to do. Wait, wait, hold on. I didn't agree to any of this yet. Did I? <coughs> She's desperate, dude. Like, I don't know how we were able to turn her down by just rejecting the money before. As she speaks, Makina clasps her hands behind her back and begins to squirm around shyly. I follow her gaze toward a secluded thicket, ideal for outdoor s What the fuck, dude? The hell? Is this seriously proposing a quick screw in the bushes? Does she honestly think that scrawny little body of hers is going to influence my decision? I mean, what? How did she get this idea in her head? Amine? Probably Amine. I think I need to have a talk with that woman. <sighs> How many sighs would this be today? I've lost count. Well, whatever. Fine. I'll allow you to buy me. With yourself. As of today, I'm your father. I'll hold on to this money. N uh, no, no, not right now. That won't be necessary. Rest assured, it's just you. Listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you, Makina. I drop my hands onto Makina's thin, fragile shoulders and stare her square in the face. I accepted this job, so I'm going to carry it out. But I'm going to do it my way. And my approach might not always correspond exactly with the ideal father you've been imagining. As your father, there's only one thing I can promise you. Even if everyone else in the world becomes your enemy, I'll always protect you. You know, that's some pretty deep shit that he actually just said. I'm not... This is a weird situation, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty deep. That's what I'm saying. What? 
Oh yeah, that's right. I always say something that like Yuji will say in the next line because it's like so obvious. Makina falls forward into my arms, the tension draining from her body like a tout string that's finally snapped. I see. All along, this girl wanted a guardian more than anything else in the world. Of course, she had Amine, and none of her classmates would ever hurt her, but even so, even so, something was missing. Something like family, a person who would love her unconditionally, a person who would keep her safe, no matter what. A father. She was searching for a long time, but when she finally found a suitable candidate, she didn't know what to do next. In the end, she clumsily threw everything she had in the world at my feet. Makina's lifetime allowance. 70 million yen. Certainly not a small chunk of change, but the amount isn't relevant in this case. She offered me everything. Absolutely everything. And fortunately, I don't have to think too hard about how to answer that desperate gesture. I'll just, I'll just do anything and everything I can for her. If that's enough for Machina, there's no reason to second guess myself. I don't have to rack my brains about this job. It's nice that way. Simple, easy to understand, well suited to an idiot like me. And so as, to, as of today, <coughs> I've become Machina's father. I don't know why I did that. Alright, so we're back in July. Pretty sure that was July. So now we're in July, I'll save it. And I'll save it in a new tab. There we go. So, Seed of the World 1. Part 1? Or 1? I don't know. I would say parts. We're doing Seed of the World in parts. And... From what I understand, those are two-parters. If there's ever a part situation, it's like a two-parter kind of thing. Old habits die hard. When entering a building, I count the number of exits. When walking through town, every once in a while, I stopped abruptly and looked behind me. Running every morning is practically reflex by now. I got a text. As, as is rigging my door before I leave. Spend much... Or spend... What? Blech. Spend much time in a job like mine, and you'll naturally acquire many small habits like these. Pointlessly as they might seem, every once in a while, they'll save your life. This morning, as usual, I stuck a bit of tape in an inconspicuous spot under the door on my way out. It's a simple precaution against the arrival of intruders in my absence. But in this particular case, the intruders left behind such a... Or such brazen brazen sure whatever signs of their entry as to render my little trick completely absurd not the most pleasant way to start the day huh? i kind of guessed it i kind of guessed it i mean amine wouldn't like show up for some weird ass reason as she always does obviously not going to be sashi anymore so i mean it kind of just leaves like one person left <coughs> and I'm sorry for all the coughing. I guess it's been a while since I've talked this much. Even so, I've, I'm doing another playthrough. I don't know what the problem is. Makina, so this was your work after all. I'll take the blueberry. It's like I'm reading uh, a text message that's just poorly written, which is most my most of my texts. My low coffee table is partially occupied by a plate of formidable sandwiches, ham, cheese, and lettuce stuffed between dark, tough-looking hunks of rye bread. There's also a carton of milk and a plastic bottle of iced coffee. Surprisingly decent spread, considering Makina is the one who prepared it. I pour a glass of milk and gulp it down. So tell me, Makina. Was it you who blasted through my door? The lock of my door has been destroyed. I'm asking if you're responsible. Well... I, I mean... Okay. Amane has a spare key, doesn't she? Oh my god. I'm, it's gonna be really weird shifting from story to story. It's like, we spend so much damn time with Sachi, it's just really weird jumping to like something completely different like this. I don't know, it's, 
<sighs> it's gonna be a little it's gonna it's gonna take me like five sessions i'm not even joking i see sachi eh i did vaguely suspect her involvement from that ends justify the means approach to breaking and entering broken doesn't really describe the current state of my door actually melted might be a better word specifically brute force application of extreme heat has left a gaping hole where my lock used to be at first i thought they'd busted out and okay ox ox i cannot pronounce that i'm sorry like i'm not good with chemistry because i can't pronounce the uh, the the fucking shit torture something but then i noticed the discarded coffee can lying on the ground nearby it's payload pulverized iron oxide and aluminum powder with a strip of magnesium as a makeshift fuse probably got the iron by cutting open disposable hand warmer packets Maybe broke down a sheet of aluminum foil in a mixer, then fixed the can to the door using wire and tape before setting off a nice pyrotechnic thermite reaction. It's the sort of trick you'd expect from a savvy terrorist. Give that woman two years of training and she'd fit right in with the IRA. Imagine Sachi kneeling beside the door in full maid uniform, silently setting up her homemade explosives. The joke doesn't seem particularly funny. <coughs> It's also another thing. We're back in time, so we're back in school. There's also the fact that yes, the school is here. <laughs>